Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting all green fingered. We're going to be uh, planting a nice beach hedge, a bit of mixed hedging, a few trees, and hopefully it's going to go to plan. So stick around, let's make a start. Right, so we've already planted about four or five hundred meters of hedging around the farm. This is a bit different, this is a bit more domestic. Some beech and hornbeam hedging, just for a bit of a windbreak and a bit of privacy. Um, so that's what we're going to get done. We've also got a few toys to play with, and I've got some help. So Bill and James are here, local landscape gardeners who uh, happen to be subscribers. Right, friend of the channel, Ryan, has uh, kindly sent in some tools to try out. So we're going to do our best to break them today. Hopefully they pass our test. Uh, so there's some different spades here, I think. But we'll dig into those. <laughs> we'll dig into those. I'm good with the puns. Right, so far so good. We're kind of making it up as we go along here. So we brought another dump a load of soil around. We're just going to try and top up what's here. And I've risked it for a biscuit and uh, got the digger up here. So don't look down. Uh, and I'm just going to scalp off the top of this turf here.
wood chip. Unfortunately, it's all the way in the middle yard. But we'll go and get that. Uh, the diggers around there will load up, and then we can try and mulch around some of those hedges. Right, that should keep us busy. Just needs to be enough to do certainly the top half of this. Until these sleepers are up a couple, well, two or three high, then it's just going to make a mess. So I'll try and tidy up the sleepers, but we'll wood chip along the back and then up around the sides. Well, there we go that is job done uh, what a day I love a job that can start and finish in the same day uh, it went really really well Bill and James um, are landscapers <laughs> so they're used to this sort of thing but it's a nice treat for me because rarely do we get paid helping um, and when we do we like, like to make the most of it and bizarrely the way I met Bill is he ordered a joint of pork off the website <laughs> a couple of weeks ago he turned up and introduced himself and one thing led to another and uh, got his day rate and there we are don't let that deter you. If you want to order from the website, I won't kind of make you work on the farm. Anyway, so we have a total of about 80 metres of hedging. This is predominantly beach um, up this end. So we've got beach here and every uh, nine or eight, eight or nine randomly, we've got a hornbeam. There's a bit of hawthorn up the other end. But we wanted to use beach uh, because when this establishes into a hedge, uh, beach is great because it even in the winter it hold on to these leaves like you see here and it offers a little bit of wind and privacy and then right at the end of the day we managed to get in a couple of silver birch i bought five in an auction last week so i don't know what they are probably nine nine feet tall uh in the corners so there's one here one up the far end now up here um the idea for this section you might have seen in the previous video when i graded all this out and sorted out the gate. Um, this is going to be re-fenced, uh, which sounds unnecessary, but this fence on the left here is going to move across a bit to gain a bit in, of space in the market garden area, veg garden. But also I want to make sure that the rabbit fencing or the rabbit proof fencing is going to carry on all the way around. So over there we've got a horse net, which is fine enough um, that rabbits can't get through. Over there we've got like chicken wire, uh, goes to that corner post, but along here is still where they can get through. So we'll re-fence this, bring the fence in across uh, a little bit, and then I will probably, when the fence is down, bring the dumper in with another kind of full load of wood chip and mulch all this, because this will be no man's land or no-go area along the top of the wall. That's why we want to get the nice secure fencing in. Um, so I don't really want to be up here weeding or maintaining. I just want to get a nice amount of wood chip down. The other benefit is if I get the, the rabbit proof fencing in on the left there and we've got a three meter or three and a half meter drop down there, no rabbit's going to be coming up here. So I don't need to go to the extent of using tree guards or, or spirals like we have, you know, behind me all the way down there. We haven't staked either because it's so protected up here, it's set down from that wall. So we're gonna leave it as it is. If there's any issues or there's a really 
blowy storm like there was last week in the next few weeks I can come and just kind of reheal them in and just make sure nothing's moved but if I can I think that hedge doesn't really need too much work now apart from getting that fence in and then finally another little silver birch here to finish off that corner so all that's needed is the new fence in and some rails across the end with a bit of net and then this whole area will be rabbit proof as will this because I can put a little bit at the end there and we can just let it do its thing. I must say I've spent hundreds of hours over the years doing this sort of job that we did today whether it's planting, digging and grading out, moving material around and we've just done what would have taken me a week and a day because we're just really fortunate now to have machinery and uh, you know it's one one thing for a bit of manual labor and believe me i still do enough of it but having that old dumper here uh you know just that was probably 50 wheelbarrows or more um and it took 10 minutes to, to get all of that wood chip down and in and done um, and the same with the digger yes you know you've got to pay to get these things out on hire or in our case luckily we have our uh, our sponsor for the channel so we get hire of gear when we need it but the fact that we had to we could just scalp off all of that grass it's so stubborn when you're trying to dig grass like that and i didn't want to spray it and i didn't want to put weed matting down or anything like that so the fact that i could just grade it all off and we've got a nice fresh blank canvas to work from just speed things up so much so actually my one recommendation is if you've got the access and you've got a good run of hedging to get in even if you've just got the tiniest little micro digger that would be a well spent 100 quid or whatever it is for a day uh, to get to grub it all out and get it all done so we had a good go on the uh, spades that were sent in the root slayer worked good on the uh, section behind me where we've got the birch trees we had to cut through a few roots only smallish roots um, but they they did work quite well interestingly i think they're probably the best thing that works on them is they've got a bit of a fork at the end uh, uh, yeah like a, a cut out at the end which has got a nice chiseled sort of edge so that does go through a root pretty well i think they're going to come into their own a little bit more when we're down in the actual old hedgerows grubbing stuff out um probably not the best um spade for planting trees that's why i like the tree tree planting spade for that um, but we're going to keep going with these, see how we think. I'll, I'll hold verdict until we've had a proper test down in the fields. Nice to try something different. Oh, I haven't told the girls yet. They sent three spades for the kids. Hopefully they'll hold up. Kids' tools are notoriously poorly built, um, but they seem pretty strong. So hopefully they're nice long-lasting ones because uh, it's always good to have some help. And they all match. They can't argue. They can't complain. They're all exactly the same. And that is always good when you've got siblings. There we go. Hopefully in the spring, you'll see in the background of our videos, a lovely lush green hedge. Well, maybe in a couple of years time. I'll also leave a link to Bill's Facebook page somewhere if I can find it. He's based in Cheltenham, but I'm sure he can, uh, if you're in the locality, help you out. They do a lot of decking and patios and stuff like that. Really nice guys. And they've uh, done a great job here. And I'm sure I'll be taking them up on their offer if they have a, another opening in their diary, book them in because uh, there's a, probably another hundred trees or so to get in the hedges and around the farm and it's just good when people know how to use a spade <laughs> get it done now if you want to find out a little bit more about planting bare root hedges we did a whole video on the diy farm channel uh, which was all about the gear that's best to use the type of hedging to use the methods laying it out mulching tree guards uh, so I'm going to leave a link to that. If I can do it on this video, I will. Otherwise, I'll pop it down in the description. But I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself. And we'll see you next time.